Hello everyone and today we are doing another single run of Enter the Gungeon. Okay, so um, in the last run, uh, again it was an embarrassing uh, single run, we used the Marine and I showed you the secret of the um, Keep of the Lead Lord, but the thing is, you know, um, we were we got racked by the trigger uh, twin again. Okay, and you know one of the main reasons is because we kept the key in order to open the entrance to the secret room, and then instead of opening the chest with the key, we shut it instead, and we got unlucky. We got nothing. Okay, and so we faced the boss with just our ordinary gun, and so we suck. And of course, the other reason is the one I'm keep on telling you is that again I still need to master the button for the bank and the map okay but you know today in this single run I'm gonna show you my favorite gun junior ever which is the pilot okay and the reason why I like this guy the reason why I think this guy is so outstanding it's mainly because of his um, skill and his um, ability he has an active item called trusty lockpicks who needs keys, okay? Chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. These lock picks have never let the pilot down, except for the many times they did, okay? So this is a game changer, but you know, it's not 100%, but there's a probability that even if you don't have a key, you don't shoot the chest first, you can open it with a lock pick. So if it works, you get whatever is inside. However, the disadvantage is if it doesn't work, then the chest becomes like stuck, right? So so you, uh, you, you can't anymore get the item inside even if you have a key, okay? So use it if you really don't have a key. So in fact, for example, if you want to open, you can open the secret room with a lock pick, but of course you don't want that because if it messes up, then you can't open it anymore, okay? So we open it, uh, use it to open chest. He also has the disarming personality uh, passive item for you. Reduces prices at shops, very useful. The pilot is able to talk his way into almost anything, usually gunfights, okay? And finally, the hidden compartment, extra space. So um, the other gun juniors can only hold um, one active item. However, the pilot, he can hold uh, additional one. So increases active item capacity and maximum ammo count. So not only does his active item capacity increases, also his uh, maximum ammo. Ever since the hegemony caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned to more clandestine storage methods, okay? So that is our um, pilot. So now let's enter the dungeon. So remember, we don't have any hegemony credits because in the last run, we used it all to buy new um, guns uh, and items for our for the pool of the randomized ones. Okay. So hopefully we get a nice uh, dungeon here. All right. So the, the the thing about the pilot is that you know his as you can see the speed of his shots is not very good yes his accuracy is not very good he also re reloads slow but still his other uh his other abilities um compensates for that okay so he's not a warrior but he, do, he does have the uh uh what you call this the luck pick and he does have um additional ammo and additional um active item slot okay so i'm being trapped by the bullet kins here let me i i use one blank there so that uh, not only will it clear the bullets, but you know it pushes all the enemies away because I, it was getting uh, a bit clogged in there. All right. So the map is not yet around, so there's still some enemies. There were a lot of um, oh, there's a barrel there. We don't want them to destroy that because sometimes oh, in fact this is the fireplace. Okay. So the first room that we, uh, with the enemies that we got into, is a fireplace. So hopefully, the barrel there wasn't destroyed. Otherwise, if it is destroyed, then um, we can uh, we have to look for another room with a barrel. But you know, most of the time there's only one barrel in a single gungeon. Okay. So again, we we open this, and somewhere in the map, a secret room will unlock after um, opening the secret inside. And in fact, the secret room is just here. And again, we need to reserve two keys for that in order for it to be open, right? So um, let's just be careful here. So we still have one blank. I used the other blank because um, I was uh, it was uh, so tight a while ago. But here, 
it's not it's not very uh, it's not so bad even though the enemies here are all um, shotgun pin. All right, all right, all right. So we can just dance around it, and so far so good. No damage yet, but we we did use. Oh fuck! Now I got damage, and it's just one damage still. And then we did use one of our um, blanks. Okay, so let's just be careful here. We have there the Ganjur, and then we have the Bullet King. Uh, these textbooks, I believe we have that. Oh, look at the Bullet King there, just you know. Hiding behind the table, very very cool. I believe we haven't seen yet the names of those uh, book guys in the Amonomicon. So after this room is clear, let's try checking it out. What his official name is, so that we can call him properly. That book is known as the booklet. Yeah, you get it. It's a pun for bullet. The Gunjuration One Hundred One. These fiery tomes are required reading for initiate gunjurers. Okay. So they are called the booklet. So not not uh, not very hard to remember. I could uh, the the shop is here, but it is still locked. So we need to find another way around it. So I believe uh, it is here below. Let me uh, do the chest here and kill this. This guy is uh, again the this rubber thing. It's very irritating because it while it doesn't damage you, they push you into like danger okay so it pushes you towards the enemy and as i have um, demonstrated before they they can uh, you can be damaged by just touching the enemy so they can be um annoying the, the one that can damage you it's called a tazy the basic one is called the rubber kin okay so that's called the rubber kin and of course the giant one if uh, if i haven't shown it before i believe it's called the god nap but let's just um confirm that here, this guy. Gun Nut Dark Knight. Okay, the Gun Nut commands lesser gun dead with the authority of the Bullet King and patrols the halls of the gungeon with a mighty blade forged from pure bullets. Okay, so that's very cool, but let's continue. So I believe in this room going to the top, uh, we should be able to go to the uh, shop and I hope uh, he has an extra key for sale so that we can now go to the uh, ship did you see that the bullet skin just upon my landing after the disappearance of the invincibility frame of my dodge roll he shot me right so we got uh, our second hit there but so i'm gonna buy the key here um so let's do that let's buy the key what other items do we have cag of battle for 30 and heavy boots so let let us first roam the the other rooms because what if we can uh, a clear room in the future will give us a single key then we can buy all those other items instead of um, buying a key so that is a boss room right there hopefully it will be the trigger twin so that we can you know get uh, obtain our revenge so these are the oh freak these are the gg and i i, I did a very bad dodge roll there but you know good thing yeah we just recovered the life that we had there but you know i should have dodged there carefully so that uh, i could have had a better life um this is a uh, chest that is a low tier but what we can do is we won't use our key instead we will use our lockpick so let's activate it it's our spacebar item it messed up okay so that's what happens when it doesn't work so now even if I have a key, if I use my key, you can't do it anymore. So that's the disadvantage of um, the lockpick. If it if it doesn't work, then you have you don't have any choice but to um, destroy the chest that it messed up. All right. So um, we still have some rooms here that are unexplored. Let's go down first. Okay. So I I really hope these um, rooms here will reward us with a key so that instead of buying. Um, uh an extra key we can buy a gun or an item instead but i believe there was no gun there for sale in the uh in the shop okay another one of course the if you notice the lockpick does have a refresh time you can't like use it right away so let's let's wait for it to um reload and of course the way it reloads is that every time you kill like some new enemies then it will be um it will be refreshed okay so i hope it i hope it will be full again once i clear this room and we still have one more enemy 
Okay, and this, it was just enough, that enemy was just enough to make this, uh, the plastic bar to be full, alright? So, um, we get go here, so hopefully it, it works this time so that I can show you that indeed it doesn't, it does, it does not mess up every time, it works some of the time, so space bar, and it's messed up again, okay? So now we're gonna go to the boss battle without, um, uh, what do you call this without a proper gun? But still, let's buy our um, extra key right here. So I'm I'm thinking whether I, I will postpone that uh, that uh, purchase of the extra key because what I'm planning is let's fight the boss first, and then what if the boss will give us a so you, we have to be very careful. But what if the boss will give us like uh, a key, right? So we don't need to buy. Uh, the key instead we can buy the hearts and the uh, the other items okay so let's do that and we have the bullet king the, in my opinion this is the hardest among the uh, keep of the lead lord boss okay? the bullet king but we did we were able to defeat this last time but that was because we had a, a nice gun with a decent damage on him okay but let's just let's look very carefully at our gun john and dance around this bullet so the technique with bullet bullet king is that you just need to keep your distance from him because um you don't want to be oh shit i, I got that was a bad dodge there you don't oh freak you don't i i was about to say you don't you don't want to be near him when, when he does that salvo and i think we're gonna die here ah you see that i pressed again the map button instead of the blank yeah so that was really very bad so i really need that uh, you know, um, Bluetooth controller for it. But still, that is the pilot. I was not able to demonstrate, you know, that sometimes it can open this lockpick, that it can open a, a chest sometimes. But yeah, next time, I, in the next single run, I'm going to try to use him again so that we can, like, um, uh, use him to open some chest, okay? So, but yeah, that's it. So it seems like we still cannot enter that. I could have entered that you know, secret uh, room, but you don't want to go there with, you know, not killing the boss in the first floor because it's a hard room and you need a proper gun there. But anyway, um, we'll, I'll end the video here and I'm going to see you next time for my next Enter the Gungeon single run. Thank you for watching.